All right, you know where we are. This is going to be the freight elevator. I'm pretty sure y'all know where this is, but I'm not going to say the location. Y'all know where this is, but please do not say it in the comments below because we got you a, a very special surprise that is going on here. And here it is. Sure y'all know where this is, what floor we're going. And here we go. Yeah, it is. I think that I think that's the roller on. Is what you said. Top one. Well, now we get up here. We're stopping for some reason. Somebody wants it. We'll bring him in. Going up. Yes, sir. There's one. You're set. Have a good day. Okay. See ya. We've got like three more floors to go to. All right, y'all can go first, to, so that way I can get a good cavy before before this uh, adventure starts. Well, you're gonna go because I'm gonna take the car out, so you get what you want. All right. Okay. Well, while while, he, while the elevator technician is doing this is this right here is a cab view of the freight elevator inside this building. This is a view into the elevator shaft of a ThyssenKrupp geared traction elevator. Over there is my water bottle right there. That right there, that's your selector right there and those black things are the guy rails on both sides. You see the, the wheels right there, right next to my water bottle. And that right there is the door roller, the door, the door operators and stuff. That right there is the car top station. We are actually going to be taking a car top ride. Go down and we'll get the counterweights. Uh, that way you can see them and when the car's halfway, the counterweights will be even to it. All right, so with that being said, here we go. Is that the retiring cams right here are clicking? No, that's your door, that's your door restrictor. The one like if you're outside of the door zone, mm -hmm. like if you're it, it, it locks the car so the car door doesn't open where people can get out like they used to. People used to try to crawl out the little edges and try to now it keeps it four inches from being when it's open it only opens four inches and you can't see the hoist look.
not sure if you see, but that's your guide rope right there. I'm not sure if you could see that well. See, that's your guide rope right there. This is fun. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Sorry. That's all right. That's all right. Whoops. <laughs> constant pressure. Haven't you heard of constant pressure? We call that, in our trade, we call it tire finger. Yeah. <laughs> I never experienced on getting an elevator shaft right. Wait. All right, there goes, there goes the counterweight. Bye-bye, Mr. Counterweight. What are those chains that are about, like at the That's bottom of the way? That's a cop chain. Awesome. Looks like that used to be a door right there. Well, it could be a door. You could put it in if you wanted to. I want to see that. Oh, look at this. See? This see right there, that is, uh, that, that looks like, look like, uh, that looks like there used to be a door right there. They could put a door right there, as you could see right there. All right. When we reach to the lowest destination, tell me when the stop sign or the final limit switch. Okay. Some of these use the elevator, don't they? No, they got it. Okay. They know it's going to be This is G this is G4 and the next street is street level and that's it. That's as far as this goes. Alright, uh do all right, um I'm gonna I like to I'm gonna try to take some pictures of before we go back up just so I can rest my fingers. My gosh, I kept it held down. Alright, so see this right here, look how far can you put the flashlight up? This is how far we are down into the elevator shaft right there. These are the hoisting ropes right there. I think I have that exact same hoisting rope um, at, home. at home in my collection. Yeah, sorry I didn't bring it. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if you saw, but that right there, the camera will focus. That's your 
guide rail. This right here is your car top control right here, so you can see. Like what you do is you press the black button, which is stop, and and uh, see, goes up, stop. So you can't you cannot run it like this. See that doesn't work. See that doesn't work. You have to you have to press stop and then down. We're gonna stop it right there because I don't want to hit the final limit switch. We'll demonstrate it one more time. See up. Stop, down, stop. All right, y'all ready to go back up? Here we go, we're going back up. Here we go. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I have to keep my I have to keep it mashed down. <laughs> Are these tricky to run? No, not really. It's just your finger gets tired and you gotta press very hard to keep them. Yeah, right. Each switch is different. You know, there are different switches, different makes. These are actually good because they're fatter. A lot of them are a little thinner or round, or some are a little, a little smaller. Some are buttons. I think I'll be fine. Okay. I'm just waiting for the counterweight to see as I call Mr. Counterweight. Fix the cover. Cover right there. There they are right there. All right. Here goes Mr. Counterweight. Bye bye, Mr. Counterweight. I hope you enjoy yourself.
Got like uh, three, four more floors left to go. I just stop it on, on that square right there. Okay, okay, let me stop. All right. Oh, perfect. All right, now before we get off the car top, um, this right here is a flex connector. See, not the exact same thing that I have, but the thing is, uh, but the difference is that it's smaller, so you can see right there. See, that right there is your flex connector. Take a still picture right there and all right, I hope you enjoyed this car top right now. We're gonna get off this thing.